So this is a Bogue RV product. I've never reviewed these before, so we're gonna tear this apart and see what's inside. And I got this a week ago and it wasn't charging, so let me show you. And they won't charge. Why? Let's use another one. We've got nothing. And there is practically no voltage. So yeah, we need to tear this thing apart and see what's going on. Not looking too good on the first product I've got from these guys. Oh, look at that. The balance cable isn't connected. Yeah, right here. Let's try plugging it in. And now it's working. That was the problem. We haven't seen a disconnected balance cable on a brand new battery since like the Ruksu days. So that's a very unfortunate. I think they should glue this down so that it doesn't pull out during shipping. Oh, this has heaters. This is, this is internally heated. Yep, self-heating function. Now it's charging with 10 amps. So we're gonna test these temperature sensors first. Oh, look at that, that was instant. Very good. And this battery has four temperature sensors. It's pretty strange they crammed them all on one side of the cells. Usually you spread them out so you can assess the temperature of the cells more accurately. Imagine if this side of the battery gets really cold and this side doesn't, you might not be able to catch that in time to be able to stop charging. Now let's try the second one, and it works. Let's heat it up. That's good. And it works. I'm testing this because on some of the other ones, only one of the temperature sensor will work. But so far, they all work. And this one works too. That's good. These cells look brand new, but I can't seem to find the QR code. And look at this. The internal heaters are between the cells. That is ideal. And these are welded terminals, so I can't really take this apart. And I'm not cutting into these bus bars, because if I nick one of these cells, I'm going to have electrolyte all over my lab. Overall, it has impressive build quality. I'm not going to lie, I was not expecting it to be this nice. Especially this metal cage that the cells are in, I really like that. And it's encapsulated in fiberboard. But sadly, I don't recognize this BMS. We're going to see how much current those little heaters use. I can't get the heaters to turn on. So weird. Maybe all the temperature sensors have to be cold? Oh, there we go. It's triggered. So 80 watts, it's about 40 watts per pad. That's pretty typical for this size of battery, actually. It does work, that's cool. This battery is $679 for the build quality and features. That is actually very impressive. And you can charge it a 1C rate. And it goes up to 48 volts. It is so unfortunate that it didn't arrive working. They need to glue that balance plug. The reason I didn't do a capacity test before the teardown is because it wasn't working. And no one's gonna cut into that case, which you can't open, and try to plug that thing back in. So if they can fix that, I think they'll have a fantastic battery. So what I'm gonna do is email them and tell them to glue that plug into place. And I want them to send me pictures of their line where they're gonna be doing that from now on. And I want them to send me out another battery so I can actually test it and do a capacity test and all the other stuff. But so far, this is actually a very nice battery overall from what I can tell. So if they fix that one issue, that would be cool. Also, I'll ask them about the temperature sensors. Maybe they put them on this side because they all have to be cold to trigger the low temperature heating pads. But if a single temperature sensor gets cold, it does shut off charging for the whole battery. So it does pass that test. But it would be nice for the self-heating pads to turn on if any of these sensors were to be triggered. I think that would be better. Unless you think I'm missing something, I think that it would be better that way. Anyways, pretty impressive. I think I'm gonna get more products from this company and see what else they have. Um, I know a lot of other reviewers have already reviewed these products, but I don't think people have done actual teardowns on this battery. It was very hard to open, so yeah, we'll get some more and see what they're like. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.